Hello, Marco. Hello, Patricia. How are you? Sorry. Sorry. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. Great. I see Marco is ready. Uh, connected yeah, early. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, Marco. I'm, I'm doing well, teacher. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, actually. It's always nice to uh, finish up the week and get everything done. Yeah. So uh, I have a question, teacher. Uh, we are having classes until uh, next week or what day? Correct. Today is the last day this week. And then we don't have class tomorrow, Friday. And we have okay. class Monday and Tuesday and we finish. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so but that day we have to finish all the platform, no? Actually, the activities. Yes, actually, yes. Uh, that day, the all of the platform is going to complete. Uh, it's going to be completed. So the idea is today we're going to be almost finishing uh, unit four. We're going to advance with 4.3, 4, and 5. That way, on Monday, we have 4.6, and we finish unit four. Okay. And then okay. Tuesday, exactly Tuesday, we have to complete the final test, and that way nobody has any problems. Okay. If we are able to, if we are able to, we try to finish on Monday. But uh, regardless, we are programmed to finish on Tuesday. Tuesday is the last day. Yeah, okay, teacher. So I... I I have to say you something. Okay. That uh, I feel so very comfortable with your classes, teacher. I believe you're a good teacher. Uh, you speak a really good English, and you you have teach us uh, um, a, a, lo a lot of new words, new vocabulary, pronunciations, and to in, in, in keep a, an interactive activities with all the partners that's that is, that is very good for you and i would like that you continue being our teacher in the next 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 labor so do you know if you are going to continue actually i don't know um oh. but usually usually i have the higher levels um oh. sometimes i re i am assigned a basic but it's not normal it's really not normal Usually I'm assigned TOEFL or advanced levels. So All it's right. probably that I will continue with you. All right. Thank you, mm -hmm. teacher. You're welcome. So I hope so. The only the only question is when when we begin the classes again, right? Because yeah. always there's like a, a week. Uh, um, at the end of the year, it's different because at the end of the year, it's like a month uh, or six weeks vacation. But... In this moment, the idea is only to have one week or a few days and then begin right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe in March. I believe it's in March. I'm looking at the calendar right now. And let's see. It's about one, two, three, four. So maybe we will begin March 6th or March 7th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, the first I, week is usually for registration and the documents, which is the first second and third and then maybe the following day the following week we will have classes again yeah okay mm -hmm. that's good that's good okay well i'm so happy to see everybody today um i'm actually surprised to see nelson nelson looks super chill ah, it's like he's very relaxed at the at the office how are you feeling nelson actually that's pretty accurate i'm pretty relaxed because my shift already ended up, but I don't have time to move from here to my house, basically. Don't so worry, like, don't worry. We're good. Yeah, you look at, you're just, you look like the, the same feeling when ah, I'm almost <laughs> finished. I'm almost finished. <laughs> I'll say that I'm actually done for the day, basically. Oh. So. Okay, great. Um, Nelson, I don't remember, were you in class at the end yesterday? Did you hear what the topic for today was? Uh, the topic itself, I don't remember, but I do remember the fact that you assign uh, who I think that it was Carlos, if I'm not mistaken, the fact that he was going to tell us about his, his dream. Exactly. Carlos was the first one. But while we are waiting for Carlos, thank you so much for remembering. 
we are going to learn a little bit of vocabulary to describe dreams or to talk about them many times in reference to sleep. So great for remembering, Nelson. Can you please read what is going to be today's objective in the class? Of course. If in this class, participants will learn the expression about sleep. That's it. Sleep. And also we will talk about dreams. We're going to watch a small video and hopefully Carlos will come uh, <laughs> by the time the video is finished, and then he can tell us about his dream to kick off the conversation. We don't listen. Yeah, I don't listen anything either. Hang on, let me try one more time. Let me see. I think it's my, my, there we go. Let me try one more time. Thank you. Hi, what are your sleeping habits? We'll teach you some expressions about sleep. Expressions related to sleep. Be fast asleep. Be sound asleep. Be wide awake. Drift off. Feel drowsy. Have a sleepless night. Not off. Sleep like a log. Take a power nap, toss and turn. Okay, first let's take a look at those expressions. Um, do you know any of those expressions? Are there any that you that you say, oh, I use or I've heard this expression before? Be sound asleep. What what does it mean, Javier? Be sound asleep. I, I I suppose it's when you when you fall asleep and it's hard to to wake up. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, it's similar. It's similar to that. That that is hard to wake up. Is sleep like a log? It's hard to wake up. Is sleep like a log? Be sound asleep. Is the person is knocked out? Exactly. The person who like many times with the children. You hear the children, ha, 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 and then suddenly, doop, they are sound asleep. Mm -hmm. Just like the log. So these two are synonyms. Sleep like a log, be sound asleep. Mm -hmm. Feel drowsy. Feel drowsy. This is an expression very common. Do you know what it means? Um, I... I'm not sure, but I think that is when you are are uh, going to sleep. The uh, when you feel so tired and you are ready to sleep, and that in that transition you feel drowsy. Correct. That is when you feel drowsy. In that transition, you start is the moment where you start to feel tired. You start to uh, sometimes. It happens when you take medicine, like the doctor gives you a medicine. Um, Patricia can probably can tell you the names, but the medicine that make you sleep, this is feel drowsy. The side effect is to be drowsy. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Good. Any, okay, now let's take a look at the expressions, the other one. What is be fast asleep? It, it's pretty easy because it's in the, it's in the expression. It tells you the words fast and asleep. So what do you think is be fast asleep? I don't know very well, teacher, but I think that it when when someone uh, have to uh, to sleep very very fast, uh, yeah, and he he are dreaming uh, immediately after he fell down. Exactly, that is exactly it. Actually, Patricia, be fast asleep is. Like those people that they only put their head and boom, wow, they are fast asleep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. 
Anybody have an idea what is to be wide awake? Be wide awake? Uh, I think that it, it could be when, when you are uh, with your... Uh, with your your eyes open, no? <laughs> you are completely open eyes. <laughs> correct, correct. Or inactivated, okay, inactivated. Exactly, exactly. Like the people with insomnia. The people with oh. insomnia, they have they are wide awake. Yeah, wide awake. Mm -hmm. Good. And drift drift up, what's the meaning? Drift is is drift is like uh when you when you're driving a car and you put your the brake and the and the car's uh, drift is the is the same meaning no similar but no similar. but not for because it's for you but a good idea <laughs> a good idea that you understand what is drift drift off is when you are drowsy many times yeah. when you are drowsy you don't know but in one moment you you oh, I was sleeping. I didn't know. I didn't feel. This is drift off. It happens yeah. for many people when they are driving the car at night or for people yeah. for long distance. They they don't feel, but suddenly, oh, I, and they drift off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This drift off, drift off is a synonym for not off. Not off is for your head. The action of nodding your head this is not so is synonym of drift off okay have a sleepless night it's okay sleepless night I think it's a place where where someone uh, can't to sleep. When someone sleeps, can't to sleep like a uh, insomnia. Correct, correct. This is the idea. Have a sleepless night is many times maybe you wake up, you go to sleep. You wake up, you go to sleep. You is not only a little bit different because uh, be wide awake is not possible to sleep. Have a sleepless night is that. You are constantly, constantly waking up, constantly have a bad sleep, like we say. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So and, this... Yes? So in probably this expression may apply when, for example, for people that, that lives close to, to a bar or a discotheque, stuff like that, right? Yes. That, in the, in the weekends, there is a high volume music and nobody can sleep because of the, the noise, right? That is correct. That is a good expression. Exactly. Have a sleepless night. Mm -hmm. Sometimes for people when they travel and they go to a hotel or to another house, they don't sleep in the other bed. They, they have problems to sleep in the other bed or in another house, in another room. They have a sleepless night. Okay, and the final two expressions, uh, take a power nap and toss and turn. Take a power nap, similar in the afternoon, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you sleep, oof, you are awake with a lot of energy. That's why the name is power nap with a lot of energy. But, but, you, can, but you can say take a nap. It's different. Take a nap, many Salvadorians do it on Sunday after lunch. And they sleep for one or two hours. and But maybe not have a lot of energy when they wake up. And the power nap is many times an idea for the office. That you take 15, 20 minutes, boom. And then you are ready. Is, take a nap is not to take a rest. Yes. A nap, yes. But a power nap, no. It's not okay. Uh huh. Got the it. power nap is that you wake up with energy, and a nap is only you sleep for a time. When you complete your eight hours of sleep, not necessary eight hours, but the nap is the same a power nap. The difference is the power nap you wake up with energy. 
in the nap, not necessarily you wake up with energy. Only you feel okay. relaxed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And the last one, toss and turn, it's okay? Toss and turn, I don't know what it means, toss and turn. Like in the, bed, in the bed, you go back and forth and you toss and you turn and you toss and you, this is toss and turn. But I don't know how to how to use it in Spanish. Uh -huh. So good thing because it doesn't exist in Spanish. So you don't need to use it in Spanish. If I'm not mistaken, teacher, it is like when you go to the bed and then you turn off the, the lights and you start turning to one side in the bed and turning to the other one. Uh, and then you cannot sleep faster. So something like that, right? Correct. Correct. Many times people wake up in the night and they don't leave the bed, but they toss and turn, toss and turn. They can't sleep. Mm -hmm. Teacher, can you please repeat the meaning of uh, drift off? Drift off is when you are tired and little, you suddenly you are falling asleep, falling asleep. When your head falls down, it is not off. Mm -hmm. Oh, drift off is like if you are you are fight, fighting with your with your sleep. You you feel asleep, but you fight because you can sleep and you wake and then asleep. Yeah, and you are in in that moment, but it's a a little transition because at the end you you go into a sleep. No, correct. Correct. Sometimes I'm I drift enough when I when I ride my motorcycle. Exactly. Exactly. Sometimes that's it. You are drifting off. That you are so tired that you yeah. are exactly. That is the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, I think so. yes. I think so. Okay, all right, let's finish watching. It's only a little bit more, but we have it. We want you to write the following categories on your notebook. Number one, having trouble sleeping. Number two, falling asleep. Number three, sleeping a short time. Number four, sleeping deeply. Put the expressions just learned about sleep in the right columns. Great. So here we have the four, right? So we get a better idea. Is having trouble sleeping, falling asleep, sleeping a short time, and sleeping deeply. Very hard. So number one, which is having trouble sleeping? Which expressions? Have a sleepless night. One. Good, continue, what else? Toss and turn. Toss and turn, excellent. One more. Not off. Mm, nope, is not falling asleep, is having trouble sleeping. Mm. Be wide awake. Be wide awake, correct. Be wide awake. Have a sleepless night and toss and turn. Number two, which expressions talk about falling asleep? Feel drowsy. Feel drowsy. Good. One. Drift off. Not Drift off. off. Good. Drift off. Mm -hmm. Not off. Not off. Uh huh. Sleep like a log. Almost, but not that one. That is already asleep. So not off, feel drowsy, and drift off are falling asleep. <clears throat> now, which is for sleeping a short time? Sleeping a short time. Take a power nap. Take a power nap. That's it. Only take a power nap. And the last ones, the ones that are sleeping deeply, Deeply sound asleep. Yeah. Sleep like a dog. Be fast asleep. Sleep like fast asleep. Dog and be fast asleep. Sleep like a dog. Mm -hmm. It's okay. The ideas now a little bit better. 
Me yeah. you. Okay, great. Well, as I mentioned today, uh, we before we go on to the next one, 4.5, actually, we have a special presentation today. Um, yesterday, my partner had, he prepared for 24 hours, 24 hours preparing the following presentation. He, last night, he went to work. He worked eight hours sleeping and dreaming only to prepare and give you an amazing presentation. Mm -hmm. Please welcome Carlos Gonzalez with today's presentation. Woo! Okay, Carlos. Good evening. Well, I have a dream. Uh, my dream is uh, take a trip with my parents. Uh, we have taken the trips, uh, but separate separately. Uh, they they my mother and my, my father take a take a trip together, and I take a trip uh, along. But I would like to to share time with with they and travel to another countries. Uh, I have a good relationship with my parents, but I think that. Uh, this experience will will live with my will live inside of me uh, forever, and well, I don't know. <laughs> the this is my dream. Dream and very good. Actually, dream has two meanings. Dream number one is the one that Carlos explained. It is your ambition your objective or your desire. This is the one dream. But in today's topic, in today's class, you can check the chat and in the chat, you're going to find a link for the second meaning. The second meaning is the dreams for when we are dreaming with while we are asleep. There are many different questions. You don't have to answer them in order. You can skip, you can go, you can choose the ones that are interesting for you and your partners. But the objective is to take a look at those questions and ask. Now, remember, dreams usually are good or neutral, but nightmares, nightmares are bad dreams, are the ones that are scary. And some of the questions also ask about your nightmares. If you ever had any nightmares. Okay. Now, do any of you believe in dreams? Do you believe that the dream is true or is going to happen? I have a sister that she thought all the dreams have a meaning. Ah, so your sister believes that all dreams have a meaning. Yeah. And I what don't about you, Javier? Do you agree or you don't agree? Um, no, I'm not agree with that, but because I think dreams are things that happened you happened to you before, and things that that happen in the in the in the day. Okay. I don't know. It's, it's a is a is a lot of both things. And sometimes it's are things that you have in mind and you think it every day and you think it all the day. Okay, okay. Javier, what do you think about the matrix? The matrix? Yeah. Um, it do you was, think the concept is, is true? Uh, it, maybe it's happening now. When you see all the, uh, the futurist, things, the technology, everything maybe is happening in, in, in a, in a little, in a little things. Okay. But could be, could be true. I don't know. It, it's a movie. And in that time, when saw them, when we saw the movie for the first time, uh, you said that's never going to happen, but it's happening now. Okay. All right. Well, Javier, I love it. Just like that, you look at the list, you have a lot of questions. The idea is, remember, we want to use our English naturally. Don't worry. Sometimes you're going to make mistakes. It's okay. The focus right now is for us to improve our fluency, our confidence, and our communication skills in English. 
So we're going to have our partners. We have the link. Please open the link because remember, if you don't open before we make the groups, then you lose the link, okay? So please make sure you open the link to ask your partner all of those questions about dreams. Is not necessary to go in order. You can choose which ones are interesting for you. And then we're going to discuss. If you have other questions, please ask your partner other questions or specific questions about their dreams. Okay, before we make the groups, are there any questions, any words that you want to say? Maybe, you know, something that happened in your dream. Teacher, so we are going to talk with our with uh, one of the, our partners about the the things we drink when we are sleeping. Correct, That's right? correct. Right. That's right. And in your case, Marco, you're actually going to talk with Wendy. Wendy is going to be your partner and you're going to ask Wendy and Wendy is going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Javier, are you okay? Did you have some problems? Yeah. Okay, Javier, I'm going to try to send you to another group. Javier, are you okay? Hello, even if, as long as, unless, our examples of clauses stating reasons and condition. Stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if, introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces an adverb clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case. Or in case introduces an undesirable circumstance 
that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself, then share them in class. Hello, even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reasons and condition. Stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case, introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself. Then, share them in class. Hello. George, are you okay? Hi, teacher. I don't know what happened. I am having bad connection, so. No problem. I will try to send you again to the group. No problem. You are with Dennis and Nelson, correct? That is correct. Okay.
All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a look. Before we continue, are, is there anybody that would like to volunteer and share a little bit about their partner's dreams or their dreams? Me. Okay, go ahead, Evelyn. Okay, uh, we were talking, uh, I, I was talking with uh, Patricia and she was telling me about a nice dream with, that she had. Uh, she told me that uh, when she was a child, she was uh, sick. And, and well, well, she is not sure if she was dreaming or it was a kind of, of uh, imagination, but uh, she dreamed that when he was feeling bad, uh, Virgin Mary came and she uh, gave her a pill and after she took the pill, after Patricia took the pill uh, and she woke up, she felt better and she didn't know why that happened because uh, the night before she was feeling so bad and she was having the, uh, dreams. But after she dreamed about Virgin Mary, uh, she uh, felt better. And uh, she told me that she was she uh, she hasn't eaten anything for four days, and after that, she was hungry, and she asked uh, a delicious meal to to her mom. I, I think it was a, a really interesting and a nice dream that she told me. Okay, all right, yeah, that is very interesting, very unusual. Great, great. Patricia, would you like to talk about or express about Evelyn? Yes, teacher. I I had that uh, that dream. I I think that it was a dream. And uh, uh, Evelyn told me about her uh, nightmare when he was when she was a child. And um, um very times, uh, many times, she dreams about. Uh, she was lost in the woods, in the uh, in the desert, in, and uh, she she was feeling very uh, uh, very worried because uh, the the dreams was very creepy, <laughs> and uh, um. After that uh, that nightmare, uh, she and I, uh, we don't remember uh, our dreams. Uh, I have about more than 30 years that I don't remember my dreams. Wow. But as a child, uh, about uh, 30, uh, 15 years, uh, we we were in the war, in the social, in the in the civil war. Do you remember? <laughs> and uh, uh, my mother and my father, uh, they can't uh, uh, go a, a doctor with me, and I was only uh, resting in the bed and um, mirror closely. I uh, that day that I have a dream, uh, I was uh, really happy again and very hungry. <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you think it was true, or do you think it was only a dream? I think that 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 uh, story uh, happened in the in the other dimension. It it was not uh, in the third dimension that that we we stay right now. Uh, maybe I I I feel that experience in the in the other dimension, not the 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 this world of Maya. <laughs> Okay. All right. Sorry, with my, my camera is is not working right now. I turn off. Okay. No problem. No problem. I understand. Sometimes. <laughs> Thank it, you, teacher. Sometimes it happens with the technology. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Who's next? Who would love who would like to express about them or their partners? Feel free. Mm -hmm. Hi, can you hear me? Okay, Anna, go ahead. Okay, I wanted to do a sound check. And we actually didn't share or dream. We talked about dreams, but we didn't share or dream because Carlos was telling me he normally doesn't remember his dreams. And I was telling him that I normally only remember bad dreams, like nightmares. And I don't want to think about them. <laughs> so we were talking about like if we believe these dreams can be like a premonition or what do we think about them oh i did have a dream but i didn't get to tell him it was a dream i was part of something um that someone was like chasing after me and like trying to like shoot me. and i guess they killed me at the end of the dream but i woke up as you normally do and uh, that's what we shared with Carlos. We didn't really talk about him as specific thing. Okay. So tell me, Anna, why do you think you don't normally remember your dreams? Well, I've read that in theory, people like scientists say that we're not supposed to remember our dreams. It's like a cleaning process that your mind does. And it involves, like, for example, the things that are stressing you out, or things that you have lived throughout the day, things that you had to do that took up a lot of space. So it's, you know, like a cleaning process. It's like an REM thing, for example, like when you sleep and you complete the cycle, you're not supposed to remember it. And normally when you remember a dream, it's because you woke up in the middle of the dream, either because it was scary and, you know, you abruptly wake up and you remember it for a couple of seconds and then you were free, right? But normally we're not supposed to remember it. But in theory, people say, right, that we do dream every night and that we all dream with the front remember it. Okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I I I'm curious because I usually remember my dreams. I almost every week I remember at least one or two, sometimes three different dreams that I have in the week. So very interesting your your what you read and the reason. Mm. Do you think you have a vivid like imagination when you're awake? Like your mind is like a very like going a thousand miles per hour or something like that? Oh yeah, I have a huge imagination. I always invent many stories. I used to tell you, I used to oh. invent children's stories when I was young. Well, not younger, but when I was with my kids, when they were children, I that was the when it was time for us to go to bed, I would invent the stories using the things that I see and I would create a story of uh, castles and dragons and a fairy tale and the, mm -hmm. so yeah. Lovely. I guess that makes sense because like your mind is always like working and even if it does the whole cycle, like you continue to work and you know, it gives you back those memories when you wake up. So that's good. Do you feel like you have like a good quality of sleep? Yeah, I do. I usually, I'm usually really good with my sleep and I feel very relaxed and I'm happy. But most of my, That's most great. of the people, most of the people in my family are, are writers. They, we, they, they yeah. write. And they, very creative family. Okay. Uh -huh. So when we were young, we always had to be creative uh, of all of the, the different things that we create or books, mm -hmm, things like that. So Maybe that's a little bit, maybe for me in my family, that's why, because most of my family, they, they're, well, my mom, she's a writer. She has like two or three books. My brother has written three books. And so mm -hmm. I only read, I only wrote one, but I wrote it as in collaboration with others. So I don't count it, but mm -hmm. they've written several books. Oh, so. that's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess it's not the same for everybody. We're all no. made. No, no, definitely oh. My wife never remembers her dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Marco, what about you? I see you're you're there. You I, I see you want to share with us. Oh, teacher. 
Yeah. <clears throat> One of the the other two partners we which which I have the 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 grateful to speak about our dreams was Javier and Wendy. Wendy. But I was I was uh, Javier was was uh, telling us about about her, about his dream. Um, he said us that uh, about uh, seven years ago, her grandfather, her, his granddad uh, uh, was dead, no, um, and in uh, in recently he was sleep he was sleeping, but in his sleep he he has a dream with with he, with him and. He dreamed that he came to visit him and to and and he had he had a he had a, a conversation. He talked he talked one each other how they how 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 they feel. Um, he asked him how 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 was he, and the granddad said that. That he's good, he's okay, he's in a good place, and, and he said that what that that was a really really nice uh, dream he had, and when he awake in the morning he feels very happy because he could see and he could talk and he could give a a cue, uh, uh, to 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 his granddad, no, and that was the dream Javier shared with us. Oh, okay. And what do you think? Do you think it's true that you really communicate with the people in your dreams? No, I believe uh, I believe that the dreams are a shortcut to the subconscious, no? Um scientists say that uh, is the way is a is a a way that you can use to know something about to have insights that you can express with other people and in some problems or some necessities that you have, uh, some, some needs that you have inside of you, but you can express in the in in, in your in your present life. So in your dream, you are, are having dreaming in uh, I are having dreaming with that situation that that are in inside of you, but you are not conscious. That, that 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 what is happening, and so psychologists use that to to interpret what's happening with you and to help you to to solve a, a a different problem that you can have, and that's in what I believe. Okay, all right, interesting, very nice. Anybody else before we continue? Anybody else would like to share a little bit about their dream or their partner's dream? Dennis? Um, yeah, yeah. I was with Nelson and George. So Nelson was telling us that, well, actually we start to, we talk about what we think about dreams. If dreams are, has a meaning about the future or if the dreams are going to become uh, real in the future, but we do agree. We we do agree that actually dreams doesn't mean that something in specific. So it means that, uh, or we may become dreams true uh, because or on effort. So it's not something that is going to happen suddenly. So and Nelson was telling us that he had a dream. Uh, about to purchase a, a new car, a Honda Civic SI 2022. So I was telling Nelson that uh, dreams uh, are just the result about something that we have in our mind or that has been for a long time in our mind. So nothing out of the, or, or something, how do you say magic or something magic, stuff like that. So I don't believe I respect people that think that dreams has a, a meaning, but on my end, I don't think so. So I do agree with Nelson that uh, dreams are just the result of something that we have in our mind. For example, if we have a nightmare, 
is the result about something that we that we fear that we are that we are scared about so um i don't i do not dream too much i think that it is because i i do not sleep for a long time and my average is like six hours so when i fell asleep when i fall asleep i think that i i don't take a long time to to be sleeping right out it is right away so then when i wake up i don't wake up uh, during those six hours so i think that that's the the reason why i don't i don't have dreams so i think that the last time that i had a dream it was like one year ago wow maybe maybe or uh, that's what i remember that's what i remember so uh, it's not something too much in important for me uh, about the dreams so that's why probably that's why i think that dreams are, are just the result about the things that we have in our mind i don't know mm -hmm. right like, it's very interesting dennis i i mean i am so amazed because i had a dream two days ago and i remember <laughs> <laughs> and, uh -huh. and i remember that i they were aliens from space and they were shooting lasers and they were using robots to control the other i had woo, almost like a book like a little story and I, for and for me it's amazing that people don't remember their dreams because i always i always have all of these great ideas and things and so it's incredible, incredible. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you so much for sharing. No uh, Dennis, yes, yes, yes. You said you have to write your dreams, <laughs> make a story. I, I, I <laughs> used to. movies. <laughs> I used to. I I used to write when I was uh, when I was younger. I used to write them, but oh, really? then I just used them to tell stories with my children or with other. I just tell the stories, but now nah, I don't remember. But yes, I have. I mean, I don't. I don't write them down anymore. Now it just, eh, they are there or something. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Dennis, what is the expression? What is the vocabulary that you learned today? To, ah, you know, to fall asleep quickly. What is it? Yeah, I I, I, I was thinking about that when I was uh, telling you, uh, well, when I was presenting, I was trying to remember and I was not, uh, and I, I didn't want to watch my notes. <laughs> because but but yeah i gotta learn that so probably i am a uh, be fast asleep i think that i should have used that one because that i am correct. that kind of person mm -hmm. yes yes that is correct expression good dennis very good all right uh you said you were with george yep and nelson okay so who do you want to speak george or nelson Dennis? I think that Nelson, Nelson is the one that had a short time because he was having some issue Ooh. with the connection. So George, this is your, no, your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you say uh, me or Nelson? Uh, George, George. <laughs> ah, okay, let's go, bro. Actually, teacher, uh, as Dennis mentioned, I was having issues with my connection. So when I uh, joined the conversation, we were talking about what do we believe about if a dream can come true. Uh, so our opinion was that um, it is not just about you dream it and that will become a reality it is more about having in your mind or on a daily basis uh what your experience at work what your experience at your house or personal issues that you have or, or personal things that you're thinking so we believe that that's that's what we usually dream right and of course, if we are dreaming something that we really want to happen, it, it, it is not magic, right? It is not, it is not magic. But if you want something to become real, you need to work hard for make it happen, right? So that's what we were talking about. So George, what is your opinion about Nelson's car? He dreamt about the car. Do you think is he wants or it's a dream to motivate him to work to buy the car?
<laughs> I would say it is a motivation teacher uh, to make it happen. Okay. I Like I said, like, uh, Dennis was saying that for him is what you think is only, uh, is not uh, a meaning. It's only what you have in your mind or your expectations or things like this. So I was just a, a little curious. It's okay, George, whatever you think. So Nelson hmm, has a lot of work to do to buy the car. 2022 is Nissan, right, Nelson? Honda Civic, I hear. Oh, Honda Civic. It's car. a Honda. Honda. Yeah. Uh -huh. But so, being honest with you, uh, well, the dream itself was about two cars. And the second car was a Jeep Wrangler. Now, if, when it comes to the first and the second car, I prefer the second one. So I prefer the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, and that's, the, that's what I'm looking for right now. So I will say we're talking about having the, the fact that a dream doesn't happen just because you dream it. It's something that you need to work. You might struggle. You need to put some effort and it might yet to be done. So being that the fact, that's my dream to get that car. I don't know if I will be able to afford the gasoline on that car. Uh, but it's still, that's what I want. So I'm working on it. So since I got that dream, because I mentioned to them that I had a dream in 2019, I have been working on it. So I'm, I will say that I'm striving to it little by little. At that point in time, I have a Honda Civic by any shape, 2013. Now I have a Jeep Compass, 2016. And the next, the Jeep Wrangler, 2022. Not, no, it was not going to happen that fast, though. But <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So next step is moving to 2016, perhaps to 2019, and we'll get there we'll one get step there. at a time. Excellent, excellent, Nelson. All right. Pretty good. All right. I think who was missing? I think it was, was it Wendy or... Yes, I think Wendy is the who hasn't participated today, right? And Javier, I don't remember Javier participating. Yes, I I share information about my sister. Oh, that's right, your sister. And, and, uh, that's true. That's true. And I, and I will and I will share some. I will share something else. Okay. <laughs> uh, make me laugh because uh, she's a little bit crazy. Uh, <laughs> and she's listening. Day, and she's listening in this moment. <laughs> one day, uh, another sister uh, tell her a dream, told her a dream, and and in the dream she was uh, she was dreaming with the snakes and something creepy, <laughs> and Im immediately she told her, "Nah, something gonna happen." Something gonna happen to our family. Be careful. <laughs> she thinks she's a prophet or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly in that moment, I started laughing, and and I still do it because I don't know. She's a little crazy. I don't know. But she doesn't get like, angry with you. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. Nothing at all. Okay. Okay. All right. Interesting. Wendy, you wanted to mention something before we finish off? Um, I think I am like uh, Anna because I can remember oh, my dreams. Uh, even if I dreamed last night, I can remember. But I think the dreams uh, sometimes reveal something, maybe by the subconscious, the subconscious. Or maybe because you are, you have something in mind, but reveals something. I think the dreams are important. Okay. All right. Some dreams, not all of them. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Some of them you remember and some dreams you have, but you don't remember at all. Like yeah. as you hear with the partners, some partners don't remember any dreams. It's, I guess everybody is different. Exactly. Yeah. Well, guys, I love hearing about your dreams. Um, I love hearing your interpretations of they real, not real. We are going to pause right there. But on Monday, you should already be here at 4.5. Monday, we begin 4.5. As you can see, 
is really close to finish. So Monday is really, we finish Monday here, the, the exercises, because it's only one video and then three exercises. And then Tuesday, we have the exams. That's, hang on. And then Tuesday is going to be just the exam. Okay. So Monday, we finish this unit. And then Tuesday, we are going for the exams. If you have the opportunity and you want to, please advance. Please advance if you have the opportunity and want to do it on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. But if not, don't worry. We will work here in the class also. Okay. okay. All right. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. You too, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.